What's up everybody, it's Rutledge. Today I'm gonna to show you guys my Toyota Tundra, better known as the Fundra. Let me walk you through what we did. So I found, sitting behind Toyota, this 2008. It was a red truck that was built by TRD. It was at SEMA in 08 and then toured around. And the whole idea was that they were trying to build a lightning sort of a truck and they built it, it was called the Omega Project. They built three trucks, this is one of them. It got backed into by a forklift or something and it sat there for years and years while I convinced my friends at Toyota Racing to sell it to me so that I could build this. And the whole idea was that I wanted to build a TRD Pro Tundra in a regular cab short bed, which they don't make. Now the only way you get a regular cab is with a long bed. So this was my idea. First thing we did, all OEM sheet metal, converted the front end to the Tundra. TRD Pro with the TRD Pro headlights and grill, everything else. This has the TRD supercharger on there. There's hardly any miles on the truck. The bulk of them happen on the power tour. But we also did the big flare kit. This is the Honey D kit. Uh, so it's the flares, it's the front lip on the bottom. Uh, then we wrapped it with a 3M. This is the Gloss Lemon Sting. My friend Sean over at Foxy Wraps in Peachtree City did it. Brian's Paint and Body put the body together. We had to do a lot of work. I didn't want to change the core support. It was an 08. I didn't want to change it to a 14 to 16 because I thought, man, that's like 1500 bucks. Uh, and I spent at least that in the labor trying to get everything to fit. So if you're going to do it, I would just do the core support, do it the better way. But because of the intercooler, everything else you need for the supercharger, it was a little bit harder. Uh, my friends at Infab built these killer rails for it. Uh, we wrapped everything that we could get to basically at Foxy Wraps. Inside is just really nice Tundra. It's got the TRD logos everywhere from when it was at SEMA. We did a big kicker system in here. It sounds great. Uh, truck is really, really fun to drive. Got a big boost gauge over there, which is fun to watch that go up. Uh, it's got an Odyssey battery, Magnaflow exhaust. It had Magnaflow on there before. We basically just changed how it came out because before it was in the roll pan and since we ran. This bed is off of a double cab because they share the same size bed, so that's why it's a, it's a real TRD Pro. Um, the wheels, it's really hard to find wheels that will fit this with the big flares. So I called my buddy Brian over at Rotaform and we were trying to make some, but we couldn't get them done in time for the power tour. And since they also have fuel, uh, it's all under the MHT brand. So he was like, yeah, yeah, we'll send you these. These are 20 by 12 with a negative 44 offset. We wrapped them in general grabbers. They're 315, 50, 20s. Because we wanted something gnarly. We wanted that look. The crazy thing is these don't make that much noise on the road. Like you would think they're gonna be crazy loud. They're really not. Like they sound awesome. They do make a little noise when you're doing uh, brake stands, which it does really well because we put an Auburn limited slip in the back. Uh, my friends at Summit Racing helped us build it for the power tour. But again, everything on here is OEM Toyota. Uh, and that's what was so cool about working with Toyota Racing. They knew we were gonna build something really cool out of it. And it's also got the undercover Ridgelander cover on here. I had a smooth undercover on there before. Uh, but when it went to SEMA, my friends at Truck Hero put this on with the matching SFD Industries Drift Trike. This thing is gnarly. These guys build them so right. They're in North Carolina. That's some of the most fun I've ever had on anything with an engine. But I should warn you, if you don't know what you're doing, it is really easy to get hurt real quick on one of these. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I built this brand new truck. It's really fun. Um, it's crazy because we took this on the power tour and we had like my 68 Camaro and my old 68 Camaro, the Evil Twins, they'd be parked next to each other. And everybody just walks by those to get to this thing. And it's crazy because you just never see one. It's really fun. But you know what? I need four doors. Because I got three girls and my wife and there's only one seat in there. That's the only downside to this truck. But I love it. It's a lot of fun. Glad you checked it out with me.